Hello everyone, this is Lugnuts. Have you ever noticed how some industries produce far more cargo than others? Have you ever had an industry close on you right as you started service? This video will explain the game mechanics behind these events and how you can use them to your advantage. This video only applies to the default industry set with default smooth economy rules. Other economy rules and custom new GRFs change these behaviors. In the game code, industry production is represented in units. One unit of cargo is equivalent to one metric ton, 1,000 liters, or one passenger, bag, head of livestock, etc. Depending on the length of the month, the maximum industry production is 2,040 or 2,295 units per month. The minimum is 8 or 9 units per month. However, if an industry reaches minimum production, it will announce imminent closure and close the next month. For industries with multiple types of products, which are farms and oil rigs, all types must reach minimum production for the industry to close. Industry production is determined by the game at the beginning of each month. There's a 4.5% chance the industry will change production, otherwise it will keep its production from the previous month. There's no way for the player to affect the 4.5% chance, however, they can affect whether the change is an increase or a decrease. The chances of increase or decrease are determined by the station rating of the station serving the industry. If the station rating is poor, which is below 60%, there is a one-third chance of increase and a two-thirds chance of decrease. If the station rating is good, which is between 60% and 79%, there is a two-thirds chance of increase and a one-third chance of decrease. If the station rating is excellent, which is 80% and above, there is a 5 sixths or 83% chance of increase and a 1 sixth or 17% chance of decrease. The actual size of the change is between 4% and 23% chosen uniformly at random, so on average the change will be about 13%. There is no way for the player to affect this. Note here that even if you're providing excellent service, industry production can still decrease, so if you're unlucky, industries with low production may still close even with excellent service. Because of this, I try to avoid serving any industry below 48 units per month, and ideally go for industries with 100 units per month or more. On the flip side, this also means if we can maintain good service for a long time, we can create industries producing thousands of units per month. So, how is station rating determined then? There are many factors which I will now list out roughly in order of usefulness. Also note that station rating is determined separately for each type of cargo. First, the most important factor is how often vehicles pick up cargo from the station. When station rating is calculated, if there is a train currently loading or there is a train loading within the last 7.5 days, you will get 51 percentage points added to your station rating for whatever cargo was loaded. Less frequent service will give you fewer percentage points, down to 10% at 52.5 days. Note, even if a vehicle fails to load cargo because it is full or because there is none available, it will still be counted for this rating. Second, the next factor is amount of waiting cargo. If you have fewer than 100 units of cargo waiting, you get a 16 percentage point boost to your rating. However, on the opposite end of the spectrum, if you have more than 1,500 units waiting, you will get a 35% penalty to your rating. Third is a factor you might not expect, vehicle speed. Vehicles with higher max speed stat get better ratings, regardless of the speed they actually enter the station at. For boats and trains, the boost starts with one percentage point at 89 km per hour and steadily increases up to 17 percentage points at 255 km per hour. Road vehicles have the same formula except their speed is cut in half, so they need to go 178 km per hour for 1%, up to 510 km per hour for 17%, which usually isn't attainable. Airplanes have their speed divided by 12.8 if I read the code correctly, but I don't really care about airplanes. Fourth is the town statue. If you pay the couple hundred thousand pounds, all stations within that town will receive a 10 percentage point station rating bonus. You can tell which station a town is in by its name. For example, when we place this station here, it receives the name Little Plaffingburg South, so it belongs to Little Plaffingburg. So, if you've been keeping track, if you get the full boost from the four previous factors with frequent pickups, waiting cargo below 100 units, 
255 km per hour faster trains and a town statue, you will reach a station rating of 93%, which is well above 80%, giving you plenty of room to play with. The fifth factor is the age of the last vehicle to load that cargo type. Vehicles under 1 year old will give a 13 percentage point boost, 1 to 2 years old give 8%, and 2 to 3 years old give 4%. This factor is hard to control so it is not very useful, but explains why new stations receive very high ratings that suddenly drop off after a few years. All of the previous factors affect the long-term rating of the station. When the station rating changes due to these factors, it will not update immediately but instead changes slowly over time. However, there are also several events that affect station rating. When these events occur, the station rating will immediately change, but over time it will slowly return to normal. Because these events are not useful long term, I will only cover them briefly. The first three are purchasing the large, medium, and small advertising campaigns from the local authority. They each have a range of influence around the town center and a rating boost. The ranges are 20, 15, and 10 tiles, and the boosts are 63, 44, and 25 percentage points respectively. Next are vehicle crashes. A train crashing into a road vehicle will affect all stations within 22 tiles, and two trains crashing will affect all stations within 30 tiles. Both cause an immediate 63 percentage point drop. Finally is the town bribe failure. If you try to bribe the local authority, there is a random chance you will be caught, which will cause all stations within the town's influence to lose 100% of their station rating. To summarize, to avoid having industries close on you, avoid serving ones with low monthly production. For the ones you do serve, be sure to have frequent pickup with fast vehicles, avoid letting cargo wait at the station, and buy a town statue. In the long run, doing this will make production increase. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. And thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.